I've attempted to film this video three times and my iPad keeps freaking up. I'm not happy. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Emma. If you don't already know, I went to Swan in the City over the weekend with my friend Maddie and we had an amazing time. So I thought I'd make a video about it. I was gonna vlog the thing, but then my iPad ran out of storage and my phone is a Samsung. I don't need to tell you about the quality of our Samsung's, do I? It's rubbish. So I thought I'd just do a little sit down video for you and um, telling you about my experience with Summer in the City, which was all good. So basically we went up by train because we don't live in London. Um, we live quite <laughs> about two hours away from London. On the first day we went up by train, so that means we, ha we, we had to get up really, really early to catch the train and stuff. I was tired. We fell asleep on the train there. It was fine. <laughs> So when we actually got to XL, we went in and we went to see the lovely man that st stood there we gave in our tickets and we were like, we're here for the weekend and he gave us these wristband -y ticket things these acted as our tickets so we didn't have to um, keep giving security our tickets we can just show them our wrists you know this black thing? it's a lock this wristband is not going anywhere the man also gave us these goodie bags it comes in a little thing called like this. Summer in the City is sponsored by stuff, so obviously you have to include some hashtag spawn stuff. So it had like loads of advertisement stuff, but I'm not going to include that. I'm not going to show you guys that because that's boring. So I'm just going to show you some good stuff. We got given some Pokemon trading cards. Yeah. I don't play Pokemon, so I have no idea how to pronounce these. <laughs> we also got given these hat things. These Pikachu hats. This is a Pokemon that I do know. I'm so mainstream. We got given these Pokemon Pikachu hats. Everyone was going around wearing these, which was also. Awesome. It also had this Summer in the City booklet thing, and it has everything like some stuff about that. Yeah. And then we got given a map of different like panels and stuff. What different panels are on different days and on the main stage and stuff so we knew exactly what was on and that was handy and we got given an actual map of the whole summer city event thing i think i don't even know how many people there was it was a massive big crowd when the doors opened at 11 we had to like all like cram through this door and like shuffle we were shuffling like really slowly and into this massive big room where actual summer, city, summer in the city was actually held. The first thing we saw was this massive big billboard on the top and it said summer in the city had the summer in the city logo on it and oh my god literally as soon as you saw that you were like oh my god I want to get in I want to get in. It had so much stuff. It was a massive room like set out into three different rooms. It had the main room which was the one you went into. It had merch stores all along the end. It had dodgems it had a bouncy house and it had that ride thing that you get at like fairgrounds that does that. Miami. That's what the ride was called. On the left it has like an open mic thing and it has like all the hashtag spawn stuff in the middle. And like Gibson and EE and stuff. EE was giving out these doody little wristbands. It says some in the city on them. Ding ding. Like little beanbag areas and little deck chair areas. To the ones to the left. You've got four different panel rooms and they held different panels. <laughs> and then on the far right, you've got the main stage and the meet and greet areas, which main stage has different acts and stuff from like one o'clock onwards, I think it was. And then the meet and greets have like at different times you have different meet and greets. Like this year starting, they did like the ballot thing. So on the first day, me and Maddie didn't actually get into any, any meet and greets. But on the second, on the second day we did though. Speaking of meet and greets, we spent like 20 minutes watching Dan and Phil's because we didn't actually get into it. And we were just watching all of these lucky people meeting them and we're like, oh my god, my heart. We actually set out for a goal on the first day to meet, um, Maddie wanted to meet uh, her YouTubers, Anastasia and uh, Eve. Um, and I set out for a goal to meet Dodie Clark. We did, we met them, we actually found Anastasia and Eve first of all, and then we found Dodie, and I was like, oh my god. So I personally don't know who Anastasia and Eve are, but I, mean, I saw them, <laughs> 
and then we took pictures with Dodie and it was so awesome. It was like, you're real, you're an actual real person. Oh my God. We went to the comedy panel um, with Tom Scar, Jack and Dean, Mamrie Hart, uh, these twins, I don't know the name of them, oops, and this other dude, I don't know the name of him either. But we watched um, Dodie's performance as well. I was actually the only one around us that knew all of the words to all of her songs. I might be a crazy obsessed fan, but I knew it. I just knew it. I had it down. We sang one for the road um, for the ending song to like close her performance, and then all of the YouTubers that were there in her video all came on the stage, and it was all very emotional. And then they all hugged Dodie and I was close to tears. Ah! Jack and Dean came on after the YouTube Awards and they were hilarious. It was like a whole, it was like a Jack and Dean video in real life, which was, whoa. To close their performance and to close the first day of Sitsu, they sang Consent, which was their, vid which was their song from the last year, I think. <sighs> It was amazing. It was such an amazing like atmosphere as well. And everyone was like huddled around and they were all like singing along and then <sighs> YouTubers came out on the stage as well to finish it off. And it was just an amazing um, way to finish off the first day of Summer in the City. And also I bought this, which is the OMFG It's Jack and Dean bracelet because I'm cool like that. Mm. We also bought one of these each. Um, these were only a pound, so I was like, uh, who doesn't want a, a wristband for a pound? Get on my wrist. For the second day, we set out for a target. This was the day where we met people, because we met Dodie and people on the first day, but that was kind of like finding our way around places and just like exploring places. So the second day was for our meeting people day thing. We had a meet and greet for Will Derbyshire and Arden Rose um, on Sunday. We had to queue up in a different line this time to get our meet and greet tickets. And it was like bracelets like this. I think we went straight to a panel, which was a filmmaking Q&A with Kick the PJ and the whole Kick the PJ team. So, but while we were waiting for um, the panel, um, we were sat down and it was quite a long wait so we just started talking to this girl that was in front of us and then this other girl started next to me was um, started talking to us as well. It was like us four were like talking for ages, it was like 45 minutes at least that we were just like talking, having a natural conversation. Then we sat together in the panel as well, which was really great. And it, we acted like as if we had known each other for so long. But then we didn't ask their names. <laughs> so we just, as, as soon as the panel had ended and we like said goodbye to them, that was it, we didn't see them again. So we didn't ask their names and we didn't get their names. Really wish we did, but. So if you're out there, please, hey. <laughs> After PJ's Q&A, um, we um, were able to queue up for our meet and greet for Will and Arden. I think it was like two and a half hours that we were queuing up just to meet them, which was actually unreal. But we managed to meet them in the end and that was really nice and Will gives the best hug. Just saying. After we met Will and Arden, we went back into the main room and we had a look at some merch and stuff and I bought a t-shirt from Down and Phil shop, I'm Phil Trash. And then we saw the queue for Tom Scar. Like his queue was forever long, like it was always really long. So we were like, it's not actually that bad. So we went and we queued up to meet Tom and we did and we met him. And I genuinely think he was one of the nicest YouTubers that we actually met there. Uh, he, he was forever meeting people. The whole of Saturday, we were trying to find Eden, like, we're massive fans of her, and we were trying to find her all day on Saturday, and on Sunday, we actually found her, um, but it was before a meet and greet, and 
she kind of looked over at us and smiled and said hi and we were like um <laughs> before we actually was like oh my god yeah we can go say hi we can go have a picture and stuff she'd gone she'd gone to a meet up and we couldn't find her again after that uh, we should have said hi and had a picture because that would have been amazing we stayed for the big reveal of characters um that PJ and Chris did um, on the stage, on the main stage. But then after that, we left, and it was just we we accepted that that was it, and we were like, okay, goodbye, somewhere in the city. And we got to the train station. We were waiting for the train and everything. And then Maddie was like, Hey Emma, Hey Emma, is that Bry and Candice? And I was like, You what? And she was like, Bry and Candice, that over there. And I was like. Oh! <laughs> and we turned around and Brian and Candice were over there waiting for their train. We didn't get to meet them in Summer in the City, so we were like, we, we, we can go meet them now. <laughs> so we went over there and we asked for a picture and they were like, okay, yeah, sure, it's fine, we're not doing anything. So it was really nice. And we left. And that was it of Summer in the City. 2015. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was just me rambling on for a long time. I'm hoping to um, get a laptop soon so I could be able to film videos more frequently. Um, it's just that I'm filming with my iPad and it has a limited storage so I can't really film that much because I have to like delete them before I film another one which is it's a lot of ag. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna subscribe, you can if you want to. Thanks. Bye bye. Just in time, people just came home.